words could say I follow you, don't for all my days Fix my eyes, follow in your ways Forever free in unending grace
Hey everyone, I'm Peter, and some of you may be wondering, where's Jez? Well, a lot has happened since we last met in JF. I mean, hopefully you guys followed along at home or maybe at Way Kids Live, but if you haven't, let me tell you, these past months have been a roller coaster of emotions for me. I mean, let's get started with that, okay? So first, quarantine. Quarantine got me stuck in the house with my cat, Piper, for months. And let me tell you, that cat knows how to bite. Oh, that got me so mad. And then second, Jez is gone, and that's made me so sad. If you didn't hear, God called him to leave the show so he could slow down and make more time for his family. It was a hard decision for him, but we both know it was what was for the best, but it still made me so sad. And three, because of that, I started looking for a new co-host, and I reached out to my cousin, Erica. But after texting her last week, she still has not responded. It's made me feel a little lonely and forgotten by God. And, oh, I, I just got a text uh, from Erica. Hey, Peter, thanks so much for thinking of me for the show. I'd love to get started, but I wanna make sure it's the best time to do the show for my family since school just started for my kids and work for my husband. My family will talk about it and we'll be praying the next month, so I'll keep you posted. Oh, and, and she sent the praise hands emoji and the birthday party hat emoji and the emoji with this face. Anyway, uh, I mean, that sounds good, but I guess she's not gonna start just yet. So, y you know what? One thing that God keeps showing me, even through little texts like that and, and the emotions that I have is that I can't just listen to what the devil wants me to feel, but ask God to help me with those emotions. Jesus was the perfect example of how to deal with how you feel. You know what? That reminds me of a Bible story I recently read in the Bible. Hopefully this will be a good reminder of what actually helps us deal with how we feel. Check it out. This is Jesus, hey who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. Jesus was born in Bethlehem and grew up in Nazareth, where he grew in wisdom and favor with God and man. Oh, I see. Jesus was baptized by John, and God showed John that Jesus was his chosen one. Then Jesus was led by the Spirit into the wilderness among the wild animals. Oh, hey there, friend. Oh, what's over the sheep? For 40 days and 40 nights, Jesus didn't eat anything. So he was hungry. Satan came to him and said, Hey, if you are the son of God, tell these stones to become bread. Jesus knew God's word, and so he answered, No, the word of God says people don't live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. And so Jesus passed the first test. <laughs> then Satan took him to Jerusalem and said, If you are the son of God, jump off. Aww. For the word of God says he will order his angels to protect you, and they will hold you up with their hands so you won't even hurt your foot on a stone. Wait. But Jesus said, the word of God also says you must not test the Lord your God. Now. And so Jesus passed the second test. So Satan took him to the peak of a high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of the world and all their glory. Satan said, I will give it all to you if you kneel down and worship me. But Jesus said, get out of here, Satan, for the word of God says you must worship the Lord your God and serve only him. <laughs> then Satan went away and angels came and took care of Jesus. And so Jesus passed the third and last test.
Yeah. 